Hello and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm just going to record a short little skim dive into what appears to be a very important shift happening in search, and that is the growing presence and prominence and features of AI-generated search results. And I want to just kind of explore and touch on some initial implications that we'll have for both users, SEOs, and advertisers. So yesterday, uh, October 3rd, Google announced two major developments. First, ads are now live in their AI overviews. And although this is currently limited to mobile devices, it will likely spread globally, as AI overviews have historically. Second, Google will soon be rolling out um, search pages organized entirely by AI. And this is a substantial, fundamental change in how users will interact with search engines. So what does this actually mean? It indicates that Google has completed enough testing to feel confident that both users and advertisers will benefit from a more AI-driven results framework. More notably, we can expect AI reviews to start appearing with more commercial queries, expanding beyond their current scope. Their current scope, as a lot of data has shown, is extremely heavily towards informational queries, where queries are a lot more simple and a lot more open to interpretation. Now, this shift, looking at Google's overall timeline, kind of makes sense for Google. If Google can place a product or service early with a customer journey, that is a huge opportunity for brands as well as a huge threat for brands. This is something I've been talking about on a couple of LinkedIn Lives and they'll cross over on the Salt YouTube channel, um, videos in the description below. Products with lower price points are those considered impulse buys stand to gain the most. If you're going online and you're just looking for something which is a very low effort purchase, a routine purchase, um, something which you don't necessarily have to think about, you but you might stand more chance of having Google AI intercept at that point, interrupt the journey and take the purchase, whereas something which is a more research intensive, considered purchase like a car, a house, and potentially certain SaaS subscriptions, things like that, that are not going to be disrupted at this stage too much from a commercial perspective, but the user journey, which actually gets users to that point, higher up on all those high informational queries, still stands the most chance to be disrupted with AI generative results interrupting the user journey and taking users onto new pathways and new placements. So one thing which is really interesting to kind of consider is actually how Google will handle product recommendations um, in informational queries. From an SEO and from my perspective, ideally they'll intersperse organic product suggestions that are more likely to match search intent, and they can provide more personalized experience for users. So this is an increased element of a personalization bubble, which could make kind of cookie-less generic rank tracking more misleading and it's definitely something we have to take into consideration because whilst we may rank third for a cookie-less stateless tracker how our users search how our tam search how our icp searches that personalization bubble could increase and that could change what their actual reality is in terms of what results are appearing so as we start to see this growth we know for a long time now since uh, May I.O. a couple of years ago where Google announced search uh, engine experience or as it now is AI views, it's more important than ever to actually start to look at optimizing your knowledge graph, optimizing your product data, appearing in your shopping graph. This might also be why we're starting to see the SRS TLID uh, parameter appearing for websites which are using Google Merchant Center, not just on Merchant Center products or PDPs, but actually on non-commercial pages as well. This will actually increase potentially over time, um, and this may increase your ability to surf products within more information or long tail queries rather than just kind of different stages of a funnel or product specific kind of queries. The adoption curve for this will be generally quite fast because Google has quite high market penetration and it's making a fundamental change to how the search results actually appear. This isn't necessarily going to be an opt-in experience. So previously where we'd see innovators and early adopters kind of moving, this is going to cross the chasm and hit majority quite quickly. So we need to be aware of what our risks are. So this is, like I said earlier, is both an opportunity and a threat. So we need to be forming our AI organic SWOT analyses over this, getting our Torino scales ready to communicate impact to wider business stakeholders, and really starting to integrate and talk to our pay teams, our product teams, and really start to build that more cohesive SEO product strategy within organizations. 
please let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you have any questions, please do feel free to write. If you like this video, please do check out the videos in the link description and other videos on the channel. I'd really appreciate a like and a subscribe as well. And thank you very much.